In this video, I'm going to show you how to add effects plugins to a track, as well as how to set up an effects loop to use while recording. In previous videos in this chapter, we've recorded this lead guitar and had a multi-delay plugin on there. Now, I want to keep that on there, but I'm actually going to slide it down one insert. So now, I'm going to add one more in ahead of it. And we can choose from a whole slew of different ones here, but what I'm going to choose is this Air Fuzz Wah. And the great thing about adding plugins while you're recording is that it can inspire your performances. So creating a cool sound instead of just the dry track can really make you be more creative. So now we've got this Fuzz Wah and this Multi Delay on this track. And what happens is the signal is processed from top to bottom. So this guitar track here is processed through the fuzz wah, and then it goes to the multi-delay, and then it's out to the main outputs. And over here, I'm going to choose one of the presets. I happen to like this 16th pulse. Sounds interesting with these tracks. So let's take a quick listen. These effects are processing the track in real time. These are called RTAS plugins, real time audio suite plugins. If we want to bypass them, we can actually hit Command or Control and click on them, or we can bypass them in the actual plugin window up with this bypass button. Now I'm going to talk a lot more about plugins and specific controls within the plugins in later videos in this course but I wanted to just show you a few here and help you get creative in the recording process. Now, I want to set up an effects loop, and I'm going to switch over to the mix window to show you how to do this. So first, I'm going to create a new track, a stereo auxiliary track. And what I want to do is route both of these acoustic guitar tracks through a reverb plugin. So I'm going to create an effects loop. How do we do that? Well, first, I want to show the sends. And what I'm going to do is bus these two tracks over to this auxiliary track. So I need to create a bus. Bus 1 and 2. I'm going to do the same here. Bus 1 and 2. And to make things easier, I'm going to go up to the View menu and choose Sends A. And now I can see all their controls right here. So I'll boost these levels. And if you want to go straight to zero, you can press Option on a Mac or Alt on a PC. And that'll take this right to zero. And now I'm going to pan one left and one right. So now a copy of these acoustic guitar signals are going out of these Sends. However, they're not being received anywhere, so we need to set the input of this auxiliary track to the same bus. The final step is that we need to choose a plugin, and I'll choose the Dverb plugin. And I'll just keep it on the hall and the large size. So now, both of these acoustic guitar tracks are routed to this auxiliary track through the bus 1 and 2, which will process them with the Dverb and all of this will be routed out to the analog 1 and 2, so you hear a mix of the dry tracks from here and the affected tracks here. And let's check out what this sounds like. First we'll hear the acoustic guitars by themselves, soloed. So you can control the overall reverb level with this fader on the auxiliary track. And you can also adjust the individual send levels right here. So when you're recording, you can utilize individual effects on certain tracks to inspire, or you can set up effects loops 
to help create a different vibe while you're recording. You know, a lot of vocalists like to hear reverb or delay on their vocals, and so you can set up reverb and delay effects loops like this while you're recording them. And I'm going to cover even more about using effects in the videos about mixing in this course.